Hey, what's happening guys? Zach Sikich here with Pro Hybrid Training. I'm excited to show you some basics of stick handling, stopping the puck behind the net. So let's take a look. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna be stopping a puck behind the net. Nick, go ahead and dump it in. Puck comes in. If I open up like this, and then that puck ends up. You can see with my stick and I was opened up, and that puck is gonna end up in the slot and be in trouble. Second way, Nick, a little harder. If I'm square. Not the results we're looking for either. You can see my toe was right behind. I almost didn't give it all. Pump it right out. Now, third way is going to be the charm. Let's check this out. Go ahead, dump it in hard. And here, pump comes in. Look at that. Pinch the puck off. Pinch it off. Now, to set it, I'm going to go flat to the boards. One stick distance off. And now that I'm going to be able to pick that up if I'm a lefty or I'm a righty. All right, let's go check it out on the other side. On the blocker side, so it's going to be a little different. There's three different ways you can stop the puck on the blocker side. I'm just going to show you two of the most popular ones. So go ahead, dump it in. Here's what not to do. Same thing. You can see my body was open, and I can't see what's coming from the other way. There might be four checkers coming from the other way. My stick was open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my head facing the boards, my toes facing the wall, and now dump it in, Nick. I'm gonna have my stick 90 degrees. Stop that puck right here in the middle of my stance. Go flat to the wall, one stick distance off, and that puck is gonna get picked up by a lefty or a righty. Very, very simple. Well, let's watch this one more time. I can also go long-handed. Dump it in, hard. Here, long-handed. Stopping that puck. Put it flat to the wall with my stick. One stick distance off. Two-hand puck set. Going right back to the net. Set the puck like this, you're gonna give your team a best opportunity to break it out, as well as limit the number of times the other team can come forecheck you, because they're not gonna wanna dump it in if you're a stud behind the net. Let's go. Nice, flat to the board. Keep going, keep going, two more. Nice. One more. Nice. One more, Tanner, one more. Uh. Flat the boards, nice. Go! Nice. Defensemen and coaches out there, when you're coming in, you want the goalie to stop the puck. Yell the word set, 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 instead of leave it. Leave it's ambiguous. It doesn't mean, do I, as a goalie, do I stop it and leave it for the D or do I leave it alone? So if you want the goalie to stop the puck and set it for you, yell set, set, set. Finally, if there's a puck in the corner and you don't want, you see that goalie going to get it, and you don't want him to get it, Yell, mine, mine, mine. That means goalie, get the heck back in the net, and that's my puck. So as a defenseman, you're yelling set if you want the goalie to stop the puck, and mine if you want him to leave it alone.